Hey guys, I'm up for Sleep and Reverie here. Now, I know it's been a while since I posted, but I wanted to review every single morpher that I've collected for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or just Power Rangers in general, not just Mighty Morphin. And my collection has grown, so now I was working on the biggest morpher, in my opinion, because I hardly ever seen them out there. And I'm going to do a review on that one morpher right now. And that is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie morpher that I made customly at my house. Now, it's not quality like Hinch and Vault, but it's still a pretty good quality in terms of having a replica morpher from the movie. Uh, but before I get into that, um, I do want to proclaim that I will be doing reviews on all my morphers. I have every single morpher from every single series, with the exception of Jungle Fury and Wild Access. Wild Access, I'm probably going to get in the next month or so because I've grown to kind of like that series, especially because it has Forever Red in it. Jungle Fury is probably my least favorite Power Rangers series. Um, I should just get it for the sake of having the complete collection, but I am going to still kind of think about it as it was just kind of the most uh, lamest, one of the most lamest seasons in my opinion. Anyways, before I get started on that, um, I want to show you my original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Morpher, Mastodon, Black Ranger, um, Zack Adam. I kind of like Adam more than Zack, but I got this on eBay. Um, got this on eBay. Totally restored it. Um, it came like this with messed up stickers that said Mighty Morphin, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and. Um, went to repolabels.com which a lot of ranger fans kind of know about now repolabels they sell the morphers i mean they sell the morphin stickers so i purchased those online and when i got them shout out to repolabels when i got them um i put them on my my morphin mastodon morpher and the rest is history so yeah mastodon anyways that's my mighty morphin that's one of my favorite ones because i had it as a kid and I sold it at a garage sale and I had to buy it back on eBay for a lot more money than I got back then. Anyways, that's another story. Now, my favorite morpher before I made my movie morpher is this bad boy. And it's like probably everyone else's like favorite. My gold ranger, my gold morpher, green ranger morpher. My gold ranger, my gold morpher, green ranger morpher. Now I say that because you can put the Tiger Zord coin and make it the White Ranger Morpher as well. But I think everyone was a fan of the Green Ranger, Tommy, because he was pretty legit. Had the shield and everything. So yeah, um, I got this as a gift. It's pretty sick. Um, I got it on eBay for Megazord Mike. Um, pretty good quality. I mean, the the rep labels aren't as like bold as as you would see from you know. Um, from the Repo Label website, but I'm pretty sure wherever Megazord Mike got it, it was legit. Um, you know, and the coin is different. Megazord Mike um, included a plastic coin. Was not a fan of it. Uh, it looked cool for display purposes, but um, I totally went to Power Props and just got a brand new Power Props on eBay and just got a brand new coin for it. And it's pretty legit because it's metal. So check that out. Oh, anyways. Still good, don't worry. There's the. It's metal. And so, yeah. Um, I bought. I got this as a gift around the time where I wasn't really familiar with uh, restoring or even working on Morphers. So, I got it. And and now, now I would just, you know, buy a cheap Mighty Morphin one on ebay and totally spray paint it gold and take care of it myself but back then i didn't know any better anyways it's still a pretty cool piece of my collection and it was the centerpiece of my collection for a long time until yesterday when i finished my movie morpher finally so yeah dragon zord one of everyone's like one of, one of everyone's favorite power rangers the original green ranger from mighty morphin now let's get to the star of the show and the star of my collection because now it's the centerpiece and I've been wanting to show it off. And like I said, here's a disclaimer, it's not perfect. It's not like Henshin Vault's, Henshin Vault's video. He has the sickest 
movie morpher I've ever seen. I've hardly seen any duplicated. And the ones that I have seen duplicated are like buckle pieces and they're all, and they look kind of good, but in, in, to be kind of honest, they are a little, a little sloppy on the paint job, you know, I would say, but it's hard to make those morphers because they never came out and no one knows how to do it. You know, only the prop makers from the movies made those morphers. So Henshin Vaults is pretty legit. Everyone else's is all right. Uh, you can get one for like 35 on eBay, the buckle type. I'm not gonna buy one of those because I'm just gonna restore uh, a bunch of original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger ones to get the desired result that I got here. So the first one I decided to work on was um, the White Ranger one, the Tiger Zord Tommy, or White Tiger as he says in the movie. Now, um, here it is. It's not perfect, but I love it and it's awesome and I'm gonna make the rest. My favorite Ranger, disclaimer, is the Red Ranger, Tyrannosaurus, um, Jason, Rocky, I don't care. They're both my favorite. But um, you can't deny the the cool the coolness of the White Ranger, especially in the movie. And um, here it is, making its debut. See, it looks kind of gray when you first see it, but actually, it actually is chrome. Not, well, it's not chrome, but it's spray painted chrome. It's a lot more shinier than my camera is giving it justice. But anyways, this is it. So like I said, this was an original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Morpher. This is an original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, all I did was cut off the stickers, clean it up a little bit, and I spray painted um, the plates with chrome spray paint. And then once I let that dry for about two days, because believe me, it took that long, um, I got my coin. My tigers are a coin, and then my movie stickers are Ripple label. And for like 26 bucks, they send you the whole set of movie morphers. So I plan on making the Tyrannosaurus one next. Now, anyways, so here it is. I mean, I don't know if my camera is really giving it justice because it's a lot more legit than my camera showing, but you guys can be the judge. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of critics out there. Oh well, I made it. A lot of people won't make it. I made it, and as long as I appease myself, that's all that really matters. I'm not looking to resell this on eBay, although it probably get a pretty good damn value on it. But anyways, here it is. See, it's kind of shiny. You can tell right there. Um, I got my stickers last night. Um, I once I got them last night, I was all over making this more fur because I just wanted to see how it was gonna look. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't have the holster that they have in the background. They have these holsters in the movie when they're morphing. And they're really cool, but um, the original Power Ranger holsters, the ones for the show that came with the Japanese morphers, and the ones people sell on eBay, uh, you know, replicas, and things like that, um, they don't look like the ones from the movie. So I don't want to buy it and put it on a holster, um, a, bu a buckle, if it's not going to look like the one from the movie. So I've got to do a little more research and how to mess with plastic and mold, things like that. I'm not that crafty, but I wanted to learn if, it's gonna, if it means making an awesome morpher. Now, like I said, here it is. I plan on making the Red Ranger one next, but I don't have a Tyrannosaurus coin. And it's kind of annoying because um, when I won this Morpher a while back, it came with all the coins except Tyrannosaurus. Even that lame White Ranger cat looking one that nobody even uses that came with the metallic toy. That's another story. Now, like I said, the Red Ranger is my favorite and it didn't come with a coin. So that kind of sucks. But um, I'm going to look on eBay. Maybe. Maybe go to my recent go-to seller. Can't think of the name right now, but they're from Colorado and they sell really cool coin props. And um, so oh, Starlight Studios, Starlight Studios, that's the name. They are legit and they sell um, props and coins and communicators. I think I'm gonna go to them to get my Tyrannosaurus coin because I want my Red Ranger morpher. I don't have one, as you see, black, black ranger green which is which was my favorite inside of my movie morpher and then you have the movie morpher so yes it does pop open it does pop open but as you recall in the movie that never happened they don't they don't pop them open they just have them in the holsters and then they hold them out they hold them out to morph you know Tommy says white tiger and then the coin pops out to the screen 
So that's kind of cool. But yeah, so it was kind of a pain in the ass to spray paint these chrome because even after a couple of days, even after a couple of days of letting them, of letting it sit, you know, um, after even a couple of days of letting it sit, um, I just, I handled them to screw the plates back onto my morpher and my fingerprints were imprinted on the paints and it was scraping away the paint. So I'm not really too familiar with paint jobs, but um, I just recoated it and let it dry for another two days. And I will say the end result is worth it because that's kind of sick looking. It's the movie morpher, right? And the red one's next. And like I said, I have every single morpher from every single series, the main morphers. Some of them I do have the sixth ranger morphers. So I have every single one and I should be getting more for Christmas. And I'm really looking forward to my RPM Sky Trigger Morpher, the ones that Gold and Silver Ranger use, or Ranger Series Gold and Ranger, yeah, Ranger Series, whatever. Anyways, I'm looking forward to those Morphers. I just got my Cyclone Morpher from Samurai, Samurai, my Samurai Cyclone Morpher from Ninja Store, before I correct myself there. So yeah, I will be doing reviews on all my Morphers. I have them all, except for Jungle Fury and Wild Access, or Wild Force and Wild Access, I'll tell you more. Wild Force and Jungle Fury, which I explain why in my video. So um, this is Armor for Sleep and Reverie, and I hope you've enjoyed my movie morpher. And I don't really know if you guys can see the quality in it. It is pretty nice, you know. Like there it is, there it is. Especially for where I got it on eBay. Anyone who shops on eBay for morphers, I do on a daily basis, knows that these run anywhere. The Mighty Morphin, not the movies. The might because they don't make. The Mighty Morphin Busted Morphers in horrible condition run anywhere from $80 to $100. I got this one for $101. I'll bid someone by a dollar. So, like I said, same thing with this one. I got for like $90. And this one, I'm not even going to say how much it was paid, my girlfriend paid for it because it was kind of expensive. But now I'm just going to make my own because I know how to do it. Anyways, like I said, I'm um, for Sleeping Reverie. I'll give you one last look at the morpher. And if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask me and I will answer them. Here it is. And I will be making the red one next. I just got to buy my Tyrannosaurus coin from Starlight Studios. They're legit sellers. My stuff was here in two days. And I bought the Tiger Zord coin from them and the Dragon Zord coin that you see here. So big props to them. And like I said, here's a movie morpher again. Kind of just look at it. And like I said, it's not perfect. I'm not a craft maker. I don't, I'm not really good with my hands. But I was just pretty passionate about the morphing collection I have. So I wanted to make the movie one because it wouldn't be complete without it. So like I said, oh, and also one last note. It's, as you notice, it's on the top. Most morphers, uh, the American version released them on the top, Mighty Morphin, but as everyone who knows that restores morphers, we, we restore them the correct way, the show way, where it's on the bottom. See? So um, I kept it on the top because if you look at the movie, and I have a, post, a movie poster, and I have the movie itself, and I've looked at it many times, and the red button is, is here on the movie. So I just kept it true to the movie. I want to keep it screen accurate. So that's another side note before I keep rambling. But once again, here's the Morpher. I'm for Sleeping Reverie we signing off. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Enjoy the movie Morpher. And there it is. Go, go, Power Rangers. All right. White Tiger. <laughs>